Welcome to the short biography of Rembrandt and a gallery of some of his paintings. Rembrandt was one of the greatest Dutch painters. He is also famous for his etchings. He painted during a time, referred to by art historians, as the Dutch Golden Age. Some of his most famous works include self-portraits and biblical scenes. Rembrandt was born on July 15, 1606, in Leiden, Netherlands, and died October 4, 1669. Like most children of his time, he attended elementary school where biblical studies and classics were the main subjects taught. He was educated at the University of Leiden. The extent of Rembrandt's intellectual development is not clear and remains a matter of speculation. For four to five years, Rembrandt trained as a painter under two masters. His first master was Jacob van Swanenberg, and he studied with him for about three years, learning the basics of painting and the necessary skills of the trade. His second teacher was Peter Lassman, who lived in Amsterdam. Rembrandt stayed with him for about six months. Rembrandt mostly painted portraits. About one-tenth of his bodies of work are of his own image. The majority are, however, scenes of historical, mythological, and allegorical pieces. His painting titled Night Watch is considered a turning point in his developmental progression. His etchings and drawings, which were basically practice exercises for his paintings, brought him international fame in, during his lifetime. In 1628, while painting Peter and Paul Disputing, he developed a method by which the literary subjects he painted were clustered into uh, specific areas on the painting. By employing this method, Rembrandt not only was able to create an intensity of light, but also a strong unity of the composition. This unity enabled the viewer's eyes to focus on the details of the painting. Even though he painted many biblical scenes, it is unknown whether Rembrandt belonged to any religious persuasion. From 1628 to 1663, Rembrandt had students. Over the years, he attracted many ambitious young men who were eager to study with him. Rembrandt never took on beginners. A pupil's parents had to pay Rembrandt an annual tuition fee of a hundred guilders, which was a substantial sum of money at the time, and that didn't even pay for a room or boarding. In summary, Rembrandt is best known for his skill to render the human figure and its emotions. He was also gifted in working with pen, chalk, and the etching needle. He was a genius with attention to detail and showed a strong understanding of painting with freedom and economy. This dual quality differentiated him in many ways as one of the first modern artists.